Greetings again, Earth friends, and thank you for calling me, Howard the Duck, star of Universal Pictures' new movie. You know, I thought it would be a good idea for you to get to know some of my film friends. For Hairless Apes, they're really a pretty good group. Let's start with that famous scientist, Phil Blumberg. Phil, say hello. Nice ducky. Me, Phil. You, Howard. We be friends. Don't mind him. He's been spending too much time in the lab lately. Phil Z, do you think the movie's going to be a smash hit? Theoretically, yes. Unfortunately, it's never been tested. Yeah, I see. Uh, how would you describe it? Just everybody. <laughs> I've just seen it. <laughs> Thank you, Phil. Once again, science takes another giant step forward. Let's talk to Phil's counterpart, Dr. Jennings. What's your reaction to the movie, Doc? Something growing inside me. It's replicating and superseding all my internal forces. Certainly an honest opinion. Tell me. What, what did you think the first time you met me? The world is in blank danger. Hey, give me a break. I'm not that excited about being on Earth either. Poor Dr. Jenning, he really hasn't been himself lately. You think the movie's going to be a big hit, Doc? You are about to witness the end of the old world and the birth of the new. I wonder what he means by that. As you can tell, Earth friends, Howard the Duck is one movie everyone's going to be talking about. Listen, humans, call me, Howard the Duck, every day at 1-900-410-DUCK. You'll hear a different adventure from both my movie and from my experiences here on Earth. Plus, you'll also find out what makes me such a rare bird, so give me a call. And be sure to get quacking and catch the new movie from Universal Pictures, Howard the Duck, at your local theater. George Lucas presents Howard the Duck, a Willard Hike film at Gloria Katz production, written by Willard Hike and Gloria Katz. See Howard the Duck at a theater near you. Call Howard the Duck tomorrow at 1 900 410 Duck. Copyright 1986, Lucasfilm Limited, Universal Pictures, and Teleline. Greetings again, Earth friends, and thank you for calling me Howard the Duck, star of the new movie, Howard the Duck. Let me be honest with you. I'm not terribly crazy about being stuck here on Earth, in Cleveland, no less. No offense or anything, but this isn't exactly the place where I'd want to feather my nest. As you know, I'm here to save the Earth from an evil force from outer space. Saving the Earth from evil is a tough job. Just listen to some of the villainous creatures I have to duck. I told you, bird brain, I am not jamming anymore. During the explosion, I entered jamming body. Being a movie star is great, but with my talent, there's no reason I couldn't be a rock star, too. So here, just for you, is my smash hit debut, Duck Rap. Hey, kids, look sharp, because here I am. I'm Howard the Duck. I'm your main man. I've come to save the Earth this summer from alien beings. Oh, what a bummer. But this planet kind of gets me down. Everyone treats me like a clown. So just because I'm short and have a bill, people walk by me like I'm standing still. They laugh when they say I'm a movie star and that I drive a fancy car. Just because I walk with a waddle doesn't mean I can't be a big-time model. So if you see me on your streets, give me a break, kid. Act real sweet. After all, I'm no dumb what. I'm your main man. I'm Howard the Duck. Listen, humans. If you like this duck call, dial 1-900-410-DUCK. For more adventures again tomorrow, and be sure to catch my new movie from Universal Pictures, Howard the Duck, at your local theater. Believe me, this is no quacking matter. George Lucas presents Howard the Duck, a Willard Hike film, a Gloria Katz production, written by Willard Hike and Gloria Katz. See Howard the Duck starting August 1st at a theater near you. Call Howard the Duck tomorrow at 1-900-410-DUCK. Copyright 1986, Lucasfilm Limited, Universal Pictures, and Teleline. Pressure starts to ruffle my feathers. That's wonderful. 
They tell me you're quite an avid entertainer. Well, Barbara, you know us birds, we, we always like to flock together for special occasions. And what do you serve your guests? Well, only the finest foods, of course, accompanied by vintage cold duck. Marvelous. Can you tell us, Howard, what we can expect from you next? No, I, no, I, I can't give you the exact details, but we're in the process of hatching some really big deals. Magnificent. Thank you, Howard. And be sure to tune in tomorrow when Mike Files of the Rick and Scramble Frigate, the famous duck and roll star, Goose Springsteen. Don't forget to call me again tomorrow at 1-900-410-DUCK for more adventures from my movie, plus other special features, too. And be sure to duck into your local theater to catch my new movie from Universal Pictures, Howard the Duck. I mean, you don't want to ruffle my feathers, do you? George Lucas presents Howard the Duck, a Willard Hike film, a Gloria Katz production, written by Willard Hike and Gloria Katz. See Howard the Duck starting August 1st at a theater near you. Call Howard the Duck tomorrow at 1-900-410-DUCK. Copyright 1986, Lucasfilm Limited, Universal Pictures, and Teleline. Hello, this is Howard the Duck, star of Universal Pictures' new movie. As a duck, I have a good insight into how to eat right. That's because you hairless apes on Earth would like to see me served up as an entree. I'm going to bother you to give your bill, bird. Naturally, I may be biased on the matter, but I have to tell you, duck is one of the worst things you can eat. So let me give you some tips on proper nutrition. Food is fuel, you know. Without it, you can get run down. Oh, energy. But you can't afford to get stuck, especially if you're a duck. So try to avoid eating fried and greasy foods. I know the drag, but you're going to have to order some food if you want to sit here. This will mean the extinction of all existing life forms. You haven't even tasted yet. And stay away from foods that might be difficult for your system to digest. What's wrong with me? Yeah, what's up for lunch? Something growing inside me. It's replicating and superseding all my internal organs. Well, what's up with that? I always choose what I eat carefully and stay away from overly processed or junk food. One bite! And of course, as a duck, there are some foods that I just can't eat for personal reasons. What do you think? I'm into cannibalism or something? I can't believe this planet. Fried eggs? Yeah. So remember, Earth friends, eat right and you'll live a longer, healthier, happier life. What do you think you'd like to eat? I no longer eat human food. Call me, Howard the Duck, every day at 1-900-410-DUCK. You'll hear a different adventure from both my movie and from my experiences here on Earth. Plus, you'll also find out what makes me such a rare bird, so give me a call. And be sure to get quacking and catch the new movie from Universal Pictures, Howard the Duck, at your local theater. George Lucas presents Howard the Duck, a Willard Hike film, a Gloria Katz production, written by Willard Hike and Gloria Katz. See Howard the Duck starting August 1st at a theater near you. Call Howard the Duck tomorrow at 1-900-410-DUCK. Copyright 1986, Lucasfilm Limited, Universal Pictures, and Teleline.